Well, I just went in the pool right now, into this pool, for about 20 minutes. It's the first time I've been in that pool. And I had it all to myself, too. And there was a lot of people there just about fit, half an hour ago. And then I wanted to go in there, and then and suddenly everybody left. Hmm. Fucking yeah. The day is almost over. You know, I, I went through about maybe six Columbia House magazines. And these, these are all the CDs. Every CD I can imagine that I want out of it. These are all the CDs that I, that I, every imaginable CD that I want. I'm telling you, that's every one imaginable. And it comes out to be like 40 of them. It's like a lot of them. And that's out of the, and that's just the one, that's just what the one that they list. But there's a lot of other CDs that I want. There's probably at least maybe 20 plus more CDs that I would like that they don't list. And everything, and I would have to order it. I would have to talk to customer service to order some of them. And some of those albums that I want are, are some albums that Hector ordered years ago. You know, like in the days when, in 1984, when Hector ordered like 14 cassettes. And I want to reorder some of those because I liked them, you know. Because I remember I liked the music, you know, and I want to reorder them. I want to be able to order them again. But I'm not even sure if they even have every one. And I already checked a couple a while back ago, and they didn't have it anymore. And they were like those soundtracks from Beat Street and and Breaking. Can you know, it's, it was pretty stuffy in here when I came in. I turned on the swamp cooler. And I made more lists of CDs that I want. And today I went to the store to Circuit City and I bought this one right here. And I bought it without, so that way I, I don't have to wait for it. Because like I want it right now, you know. Hey, cooking pizzas. I'm having something different because I'm always having the same thing, you know, every day. TV dinners. Today I worked on June's car, you know, the one that used to be mine's, the Escort, and I replaced the fuel filter, something that I've never done on that car when I had it, and then the spark plug wires, I did that for him, and, I, and he gave me 15 bucks for doing it. And then I guess here I was making a list of CDs that, you know, that, <clears throat> I mean, the albums that Hector had ordered back in, in the middle 80s, you know, 1984. I'm trying to remember every one that Hector ordered so that way I can get them again on CD. And these, I got more of these. Cause I'm gonna look through the magazines right now. And then this CD here today, I bought it. I bought this one just today. And, um, how do I call it? I paid $14 even. It was $13 plus tax, or $12.99 at Circuit City. And at the mall and, and the um, warehouses, all of the other warehouses, they were asking $17.99 for this one. And so at the Circuit City, I got it for $13.99, or $12.99. And that was the only one, only copy available when I bought this one at Circuit City. But at the at the mall and then the other and then the other warehouses, they had like maybe about five of them. So they may be telling me a little something that 
people who are buying them at Circuit City or Circuit City is probably just not stocking as much. Yes. I'm gonna go to the gym today like I do every Thursday and Wednesday. So. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I went to the Walmart right now at well, I went to the Walmart and Riverside Street and I bought another CD for 11 bucks. It was Los Angeles Azulis. And then, and then there was another CD. Yeah, there's at least a couple other ones that I wanted to get. There's one by the name of, um, I guess. Uh, oh. It was by the name of Kylie. Uh, and I guess it's the word. It starts with the name. I think it's Monique or something like that. And it's a newer album. It's a newer CD. And I think I want to get it one day or sooner or later. And then, of course, there's a lot of other. There's a couple of ACDC CDs that I wanted to get at Circuit City. They were like $12 for each one. Yeah. It's for those about to rock and and let there be rock. I may or may not go get it. I can wait. I could probably wait for this. Yes. I have that window open. That noise was scaring the shit out of me last night. Because I thought it was like a bug, you know, in here. But it's this. It's the foil on the on the glue there. But right now I went to the Montclair and then I went to the pawn shop in Fontana and I bought a total of nine more CDs. A nine of them. Man, I was kicking ass and I, I was loving it. I went to Target. Well, I went to Circuit City and I bought these four and it cost me $45 for the four and these are the four I bought and I bought the um, Climax and then this one this is a newer one I got that on I got it Monique and then Climax, it's an older group, and then these ACDC ones, paid $9 for each one. And that's the older stuff that Hector used to like. And Hector's saying that he, he's been looking for those, and he's saying that, that he has not been able to find them in the stores. And then I got these at the pawn shop in Fontana. The one by Arrow and Sierra. See, this is like the romantic music of Spanish. And it's nice music, too. This one. The Kinks. And then I bought this one, too. This is a sort of like a replacement CD for the ones that I lost way back in 98. And then I got this one because I knew this singer here. And then here's another replacement. This is another replacement CD. You bought it just for the hell of it, you know. Paid like $4 for each one with tax and everything. And not bad. So I spent a total of $65 on CDs. $4 for each of the five that I got at the pawn shop. And then in the last two weeks, I spent... $85 on CDs. I think it's a total of like oh, almost maybe seven, eight or something like that. So I'm on a phase again out there buying a lot of CDs like I did last year around this time. And I had, I don't know how many CDs I bought, but I know that I was on a phase going out there buying so many CDs and spending a lot of money. And I'm doing that again. It's happening again. But it's fun though. But the difference here is that 
I can feel free to spend all the money I want to celebrate my victory of my success of financial, you know. And besides, it's like a reward for me. I'm rewarding myself for how, how well I've been taking care of my finances. And then I went to Target and then I went to the mall. I was gonna eat there, but I just felt like going to Target. I went to Target and there was another city I was thinking about, but I wanted to wait because I'm waiting for the, the eight CD collection to come in of the 60s that I ordered a while back ago, a week ago. Because they, they may, they may, that collection may have some of the songs that I liked in one, one CD that I was wanting at Target and everything. So I'll wait on that one. And then I ate a hot dog and french fries at, I mean, at the, um, at the um, Target. And then I went to Toys R Us and that was kind of fun. So overall, today was a lot of fun. And then in the pawn shop, they they have like about, I'll tell you, they probably have about 2,000 CDs like for sale. And to go through all of them, that was a lot of time. A lot of time. But I managed to find a few, including some replacements of CDs I, that were stolen back in 1998. Can you? I was checking the inventory, you know. Well, I was just checking all the CDs that I replaced that were stolen. And to date, I've already replaced more than half. Just a tad bit more than half of them. I'm telling you. Of the ones that were stolen back in 98, I'm telling you. And then these, of course. <laughs> Kyle. Kylie. Still can't get it. Finally got it to focus right. Mini. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the times when I had that apartment there. And I was trying to remember, like, the times when I had all of my CDs before they stole them. Yeah. Kenya. So it looks to me that I have found out that these are all the CDs that I bought in the last two weeks. All of them. Since like Cynthia's birthday until today. These are all the CDs I bought. Oops. Including two ACDC one, Climax, and then the newer one. The Kinks. That one. And Manual. Stevie Nicks. And then I just bought that one today. So I guess I could see that's what I bought over the last two weeks since Cynthia's birthday. That's about, mm, more, actually it's more than two weeks, like two and a half weeks. I bought all of these in two and a half weeks. Her, so I found out that I spent 160, about 160 dollars. 160 for all of these. And it's about three, six, eight. Oh, wait a minute. Three, six, nine, 
12, 15, 16, 17 CDs in the last, like, two and a half weeks I spent. And that money, I was supposed to put it in my Bank of America to pay it off, but that's okay. You know, it's like I'm going to owe an extra, I'm going to owe $160 or more than what I was expecting to owe. But that's okay. And then not to mention the other eight that's coming that I spent $120 on. So that's $180, $280 in CDs that I spent. And I'm going to, and it's for a total of about, it's a, for a total of about another eight besides the 17 for 25 CDs. And this is the CDs that I have. I hope I never lose these. Hope I never do, but shit. I would hate to lose these things. These are all the CDs I got. And including and all of these are all CDs that I had that I replaced as stolen, you know, the stolen CDs. These are CDs I replaced when they got stolen. Jeez, I got a lot of them. I have a lot of CDs there, you know. It'll be difficult, you know. But, you know, I'll tell you, I don't want to ever lose these. I spent a lot of time and money, and I mean a lot of money, to make this collection of CDs here. Spent a lot of money, man. I'm telling you, man, and I would certainly hate to lose them. And then, you know, and then I, I regretted ne never even making a movie. I regretted never making a movie of all of those CDs that I, that I had before they ripped me off. Because it's been a mystery since that time of exactly every single CD I had. Or, you know, like, not knowing. Well, like, not, well, it's a mystery today of exactly how many CDs I had. Of exactly how many I had before they ripped me off. Those are all the CDs that I got. A lot of them, man. Pink Floyd. That's a lot of CDs. And so I have about 225 right now. And I got many more coming in the next probably half a year or so. But, but although as much as I spent $160 in the last two weeks, or a little more than two weeks on CDs. Over the last week, I made $45 extra. And it's because I made $15 for working on June's car, my coworker. And then just right now, earlier today, Carlota gave me $30 for, for putting some film over the windows of the restaurant to let off the sun, to ease off on the sunlight. And also, and also to assemble like a cabinet for her. So she gave me $30, so I made a total of $45 doing things for someone. So that, that helps, right? that makes up for some of the money that I spent. Now that's good, you know. That's good, at least I don't see too much of it spent, you know. And being shocked by it, you know. <laughs> Or being depressed by any chance. So in that case, you know, I spent about, you know, well, for so I found out that besides the the CDs that I bought near Cynthia's birthday, it was it was just in less than one week since since one week ago that I bought about maybe fifteen CDs. And I spent about 125 for all of them. 
but I made 45 so I only see $80 of shock in my income there <laughs> but that's okay I deserve it I deserve them though uh. <laughs> I'm cleaning here, so I haven't vacuumed in a long time. Getting use charging these C batteries for the tape recorder that I have there. And now I'm almost done cleaning, you know. Gonna put that vacuum away. I'm just about done. CDs I had to get one of the other cases that I had because my collection of CDs is growing dramatically and big time then you I gotten rid of a lot of records I have them in the car because I have decided that the records that I'm getting rid of I played them again or I heard them and it's confirmed that I'm not gonna listen to them, that I'll never listen to them. I'm starting to learn exactly what kind of music I will not listen to. And there's a couple of records that I'm recording just that one song I like in it, and then I'm gonna get rid of it. And this is one of them. Rainy day in Georgia, or rainy night in Georgia. And then out of this one I recorded Cruel Summer. Cause they're the only songs I like. You know, I'll be getting rid of a lot of records in the future. As soon as I get CDs of them, I'll be getting rid of them. Yes, I'm recording some songs off of that CD. And then I recorded Los Angeles Azulis the new one that I got and and I have just discovered that I lost a song that I recorded off a of radio off the radio it was from a Los Angeles Azulis and I just discovered that I lost it because I don't remember where I put it I don't remember where I recorded it on you know so I misplaced it and lost it so I'm having my pizza a bill Yes. And I recorded the, I double recorded the Kylie CD, which is here. And so I got a new CD today. Got two of them. I got one Gabrielle, another one, and then I got the Police. I got that one today in the mail. I didn't have to pay for it because it was part of of the $160 I spent. Uh, harsh. Can you? I just, I bought another CD again and it's Louis Armstrong and I got the coolest news for myself. I got the CDs that I was waiting for from Time Life. I got them. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, man, how it feels. Yes, I got him, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be styling him. I'll be styling him. Oh, yes. yes. I'm gonna play him right now. <laughs> and then this one, too. I like, I like number one on this CD. What a wonderful world. Genius. I'm coming. How it feels. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling. I'm loving it. 
I'm putting these CDs in, and I got so many of them that I'm not gonna even be able to fit them all in the changer at this moment. I'm telling you how that feels now. And it, I'm telling you, just, I listened to five of the CDs and I'm loving them. I love the music, some of it. Well, of course, I don't like every song, but so far I've heard a lot of music I like. So, so far, a lot of it, or some of it, I like a lot. I like it so much that it's like the whole CD is worth the dollar I paid for it. Yeah, I like that song. That's just one of the songs I like. One of many. In the cool evening, well, I'm gonna put them away. I already put them away. Yes, I'm gonna check these CDs out again. This is my meal for the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Give me> a <laughs> I'm going to the gym right now. This is Wednesday. Gym for it's hot in here too. It was hot in here earlier. Genius. Well, it seems to me that this is a day I've waited for. I've waited for this day. And the reason why was because I wanted to see how much I was going to be putting into my credit card today. And I was going to be putting in, I found out that it's going to be $850 total to the Bank of America and I owe $1331 including those eight CDs that I got in the mail. The 60s gold. So I found out overall that I'm going to be owing a total of around $500 after that. And what I got to show for that is a bicycle, the red one, and all the CDs that I bought in the last two weeks two, three weeks. So it's $500 that I'm going to owe after today on miscellaneous things. That's it.